Okay, I'm here with, uh, maybe you could get, state your name and what kind of vehicle you got. My name is Randy. My YouTube channel is Box Van Go. That's B-O-X-V-A-N-G-O. It's not meant to be a play on the painter. It's meant to be a plan. Get a box van and go. Anyways, that's, that's cool. my channel. And uh, this is a 1993 Ford E350 cube van. It's got the uh, extended part over top of the cab, and that's where the bed is. That's a full 54 inch wide bed. And of course, it's 79 inches long, and I've still got lots of space to put stuff. You know, actually being up there in the winter, is probably, you're up where the air is warmer. That's my <laughs> table. Oh, wow. Okay. Functions as my headboard. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> yeah, I've been full-timing for uh, just, a, just a little while now, since the beginning of March is when I started full-timing it. Uh, I had lots of practice runs, though. Uh, the one thing uh, that uh, look at this kitchen at this the one thing that's unfortunate about this is the construction the kid who built it uh, he didn't do his homework and no and he created a big problem I'm gonna have to get this I have to tear the walls all out and everything why is that because all of these screws that hold the paneling on oh you were saying something about that directly to the aluminum ribs so they're so like whatever temperature the, the cold. outside is these screw heads are going to magnify that temperature. So if right. the sun's shining on the side of the van, these screw heads all get hot. Oh, wow. If it's, if it's cold outside, these screw heads collect condensation. And there's lots of them. And then freeze. There's hundreds of them. So during the winter, when I would sleep, all the screw heads surrounding the bed were all frozen. So it's like sort of sleeping in a little bit of a freezer. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You wouldn't think, but yeah, you get that many. So there's no real way to repair it. I have to pull all that paneling off. I got to put some wooden ribs in, and then I got to... On this roof, too. Yep, everything. It's all got to come out. That means the shelving's got to What's come he screwed out. to? Not the outside. They don't go. He's screwed directly to the aluminum ribs, which are attached to the outside. So it's a direct oh, wow. metal thermal bridge connection. Holy. Yeah. So it gets brutally hot in the summer. There's my whole business card. <laughs> you don't mind if I video, eh? Oh, no, the no, place? No, no, no. Your your home? Away from home now? <laughs> my home away from Nome. Okay. And he's got a... Got a diesel those... heater down there. Of course, that's the microwave that I was going to give to my buddy. Diesel heater? Microwave? Because I can't use the microwave. Fridge? You can't use it, eh? No, it's that's an old microwave. I have a microwave in mine, too, but I... I am going to buy one. All <laughs> this shit I had in my apartment. Really? Like, you know, uh, this impresses me over here, this part. I could stand and cook here all day. Exactly. <laughs> three fucking burners. Yeah, holy. Look at that. And that's like a, an, an RV yep. cooktop thing. Yep. Not like a, like a, a household stove. Then no, you got the an whole. RV, yeah, it's an RV cooktop. So, you know, I have that too, but I have no oven. So yeah, I went, I I went and no bought a oven. Coleman oven that folds up this thick. Yeah, how are they? So it works. Pr well, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. It takes, we try burnt stuff first time. Had it, have you had it on the ferry? Yeah, I, I brought it from, uh, from, uh, from Victoria. So I it. And you're, you're not a senior, of course. Not yet. So. I think it was 75 bucks. Yeah, see, I pay more because I'm not a, a BC resident. Really? But if you, if you, I, I they don't check your ID. Uh, do they? Yeah, one time. One time. I, I,